Hey folks, Nathan here from Star Wars Beyond the Films and Cloud City Casino, a Star Wars gaming podcast, both of which are found over at StarWarsReport.com. Bring you a look at, surprise, surprise, some actual Star Wars Legion stuff here. You may recall that before I stopped actually covering Star Wars Legion uh, expansion packs and whatnot here on the channel, I said that there were three things I already had pre-ordered that I would be reviewing eventually when they came because I plan to use them for other things as well. That was the game maps that have finally, after quite a while, been released. We're gonna look here at all three, just to see what they look like. We have the Jakku game mat, the Sullust game mat, and the Hoth game mat. They are all three by three. Same nice quality of mat as you got, for instance, for the previous two for Legion. Uh, any of the skirmish map ones, although bigger, for uh, Imperial Assault, or more frequently known, the uh, X-Wing game mats. So, let's check each of them out. This here is the Jakku game mat here. Again, three by three. One thing I think is kind of cool about this is you can see sort of the buried pieces of things like the back of an ATST, I believe that is there. Your buried walker. Very much fits with what we saw in the films. Uh, kind of a cool backdrop to be able to play your characters on. And of course, we have that downed ATST mini that could be used uh, as a set piece with this because it definitely makes sense just from the standpoint of what we're already seeing here for the background. Uh, the only thing denoting this as anything other than just the scene is just the Star Wars and copyright at the bottom, as will be the case for all of them. So definitely like this one. I actually plan to use these a lot of times as the mats underneath when I'm playing Imperial Assault. So I'm pretty stoked to have this. It's a nice, cool backdrop here. The second here is Sullust. Sullust, of course, Volcanic. Came with a Star Wars down in the corner. Nothing in terms of wreckage or anything like that, but a cool volcanic landscape. You can honestly use this for just about anything that would call for a volcanic landscape. I mean, you know, maybe you could do a campaign where one does not simply walk into Sullust or onto Sullust, perhaps? Um, but yeah, this is one I probably think is probably the most um, multi-use for fantasy gaming in this case. Then this is the new Hoth one for Legion. Now this one I particularly like because we previously had some, for instance, like Hoth, but they were for X-Wing. So they were designed with the idea, you know, part of the mat was the planet, but then it was like, you know, just the planet from space looking down. So now, especially if you're playing stuff like Return to Hoth for Imperial Assault, if you're not playing Legion, this will make a great backdrop for that nice, you know, Walker Prince going through there. I wonder if they made those to scale to what an ATAT -AT would actually be compared to, say, the scale of something like their ATST in Legion. But yeah, so all three of these are out now. They're all $40, so you can get them discounted at places like Miniature Market and whatnot. Um, I'm glad I picked them up because I'll be using them, like I said, for other things. If you're playing Legion, though, these should probably be a no-brainer if you're looking for a real cinematic feel, unless you have already created your own terrain of some kind. Not sure you're going to be using Sullus as much, but Jakku and Hoth in particular just strike me as nice backdrops, particularly with some of the different styles of minis that have been released, some of the paint schemes that I've seen, for instance, uh, from fans. I think that should be a pretty sweet setup. But all three are finally, after a long pre-order period, out now. 